So they're called fictionalized memoirs, and they are. For instance, I, I was doing a radio show once, and a woman called up and, and she said, we well, have garbage lady Annie's house next to the church, and it was three blocks away. And I said, lady, I'm not writing a documentary. You know, I move things around sometimes to make them fit. And uh, quite often a character will be a composite of four or five people. I do have people say to me, oh, I know I was that character. And I always say yes, even if they're wrong, because mm -hmm. they like to think they're important enough to write about it. And they were. I sit down and write a book and I write it. And then it's up to readers to, I certainly don't want to write a stop sign. I, I talked to would-be writers about that. You know, stop sign means stop to everybody. But a good painting or a good piece of writing People see different things. They're within the same parameters, but they do see a different. They do see different shades, different colors, if you will, because they've lived def different lives. And so, when I wrote on, on the unoriginal sinner and the ice cream god, it does have a darker side to it than the other two books. But it's written by a guy who's in college, and that's at, at an age. I tried to write from the age perspective that I was. You know, uh, Last Catholic in America was written from the perspective of a kid going through life, and. Uh, Pat Leather Shoes were written, hopefully, from the perspective of a teenager with that acid tongue. And I think last, and lost, you know, not confused. Uh, you know, when I, my children have gone through their teenage years, you, you tend to give them a lot of room if you're smart because uh, they're going through a, lot, a very difficult time. I, I find it amusing, and I do know a lot of people who have led happy childhoods. I was not one of them. I did not like being a child. I did not like being small. I mean, someone who really was happy with being a child and happy with their life wouldn't have written a book about growing up Catholic. Wouldn't have written Last Catholic in America. Wouldn't have written Do Black Pat and Other Shoes Really Reflect Up. It's written by people who are not in the mainstream. And I made it rather clear that I was not in the mainstream. Uh, you know, in Pat and Leather Shoes, there's a chapter about fat and ugly kids, and I was certainly among them. You know, I wasn't that fat, and I, hopefully I wasn't that ugly. But I was certainly, inside I was. And I... You know, I mean, the, the original title of that book was Memoirs of a Smart Ass, but my publisher thought I couldn't get away with it. So. But in a way, it was written by a guy who was not fitting in, didn't fit in. But the truth is, when we grow older, we realize that most of us felt we didn't fit in, or we were only fitting in for the moment. And I draw a very different line, a very thick line between success and failure and winning and losing. One is one and one is the other. Winning and losing, you can't control. We know. If you're in, a, in baseball, for instance, if you hit the ball three inches but get on first base in a tight situation, you're a clutch player. But if you hit it 300 and some feet and it's caught against the wall, you choked. Mm. But that's not true, is it? No. But that's the way we look at it. Mm -hmm. So, sports is like life. You, you do the best you can and let it go. And one of the, you know, one great thing about athletes is they quickly forget their mistakes. They learn and they move on. But writers are very introspective, as you know. They're, what if? <laughs> when you first oh, that's why I started out writing a book that was going to go all the way through college. And when I finished Last Catholic, I thought, this is a book. Uh, and then I wrote Pat on the Shoes and I wrote an original scenario. I changed the name of the third character because I didn't want it to be called a trilogy. trilogy and I fooled no one. <laughs> um, you know, Swank was written before the rest of the book was written. But I do think how a book finishes is very important. You tend to remember the beginning and the end. I had a hell of a time beginning both books, or Pat Mother Shoes and Les Catholic. An original Sinner kind of fell in place. But uh, an unoriginal Sinner, the ending was a little different to it, summed up the book. Uh, but I like the way Les Catholic ends. I like the piece about Swank Roller. It was a well written piece, I think. Uh, it captured a little world in its own way. And, you know, Bob Cromie, I don't know if you remember, once called me the most underrated novelist in America. And I think he was right.